Good afternoon, YouTubers. This is Francis. It's about uh, 1 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon, September 18th. And um, anyway, uh, I just am um, happy to report I got my internet and phone service back last Saturday. And I went to my gender therapist appointment yesterday at noon. And I got there about 10.30. And I had to wait an hour and a half. But, you know, the buses run every hour. And I had to call a cab. And, you know, sometimes you don't know how long you're going to wait for a cab to show up. If they show up at all. So, you know, hey, I got there 90 minutes early, but that's that's better than being five minutes late as far as I'm concerned. So I brought a book, and I read a couple of chapters of my book um, while I was waiting for the therapist to come back up from an 11 o'clock appointment that she went to, okay? So anyways, um, I cooked some food this morning, and I'm going to, like, was on over here and give you a view. Okay, I got my blue polka dot shirt on today and uh, and up oh, wrong way. Let's see here. And I got some green my uh, very short green skirt. Um, I'm going to have to model it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that afterwards. But anyways, here's my food. Um, I purchased some beef heart last week. And let's see if I get this focused. Here's a piece of beef heart. Basically, I cooked the beef heart. Uh, it's frozen. and But it's all sliced up. And I just uh, cook it in a... Um, In the pot, right in this big pot here, see? And I put a couple cups of water and I cooked it with uh, maybe a half a green pepper chopped and a carrot chopped up with some garlic and all my wonderful heart friendly spices and things. And so, you know, it, it cooks real slow in here and then you end up with this. So I got some organic carrot, some uh, green pepper. And anyways, heart makes a wonderful beef broth. Oh, it makes the rice taste so good. And uh, heart, beef heart is a unique flavor. And uh, I don't know of any other part of the beef that, that tastes like the heart. You know, it's delicious. And, you know, once you have beef heart and you get used to eating that, the rest of the cow, you can have it. <laughs> Just talk to any Indian, okay? So, anyways, uh, this is very, very delicious. And, um, you know, I, I kind of boiled up a whole pound. And once once the beef heart's, like, thawed out and cooked halfway through, I take the strips and I put them in this bowl and I cut them up into small little chunkies, chunks, okay? Not, like, real small, but... And then I just simmer it and then uh, throw some rice in and let it simmer for another half an hour on a low fire. And, and you know, I mean, I cook things at low temperatures so that you don't get all those AGEs like I talked about before. Anyway, so that's enough for the food. I can eat that later. And I'm drinking my black coffee. And since Truvia's got some kind of Arethiol stuff in it, that I read an article, a health article about, and there wasn't, there wasn't some, there was some unfavorable comments. So I've switched back to good old stevia in the raw. And um, I used to purchase ste uh, sugar in the raw from Hawaii. And uh, it's very good, you know. And so I went to stevia in the raw. And so Stevia in the raw is pretty good. There's no aftertaste, and it, it just sweetens up the coffee, and there's zero calories. 
There's a little bit of dextrose in there. I think that's a form of sugar, but they, they just put a little bit in there. I don't know why, but anyway. So let's get back to uh, my um, therapy appointment. Everything went real well. Um, the therapist and I have a very good rapport. I feel very comfortable uh, talking to her. And, um, you know, she has 22, 23 years of solid experience being a gender uh, uh, therapy counselor. And um, so, you know, so, you know, do, she just asked me a bunch of questions after we got the financial things and all the papers signed. And then, uh, so... Um, you know, it's going to take several visits before, maybe three or four more visits. So it might be a month or two, uh, maybe three, you know, probably between now and December, she might get enough information from me about my past. So I kind of reviewed my uh, situation about my childhood and my surgeries, and, um, and I talked about my dysphoria. And she totally understood. And, you know, and she said that, uh, you know, my case is not unique. There's, there's probably other people that have been like me, but I don't think she's ever come across anybody like me personally in her life, you know, in her um, practice. So, uh, anyways, I felt very comfortable talking to her. And um, so... Um, you know, I went there all dressed up, and I had a little bit of makeup on, and, you know, so uh, she complimented me on my hair, and um, so, uh, you know, so anyways, I'm, you know, I, I think I got a really good start. And, you know, the way this therapist thing works, like that book I read, um, The um, Gender uh, Self, you know, it talks about when you when you go see a counselor, you know, sometimes it doesn't click. You don't feel comfortable with the person, whether it's a male or a female. And, and so there's got to be a rapport there between the counselor and the patient, okay? So anyway, she was very um, open and understanding, and, uh, and she asked me some questions, and I asked her if I was going to be taking some tests, and it didn't seem like I was going to be taking any written tests. So I don't know if that's part of her modus operandi. But, uh, but at my age, 60 years old, and with my history, and, you know, she knows that I have two sons and I have grandchildren. So I'm like in a totally different category than a young person. And uh, so, you know, I don't think there's going to be any obstacles to um, either uh, hormone replacement therapy or anything else. But first, we, I want to get all this stuff documented so I can get it. She can get determine an accurate diagnosis of my condition. And to me, that's real important. Okay. And uh, so right now, we're... You know, I'm telling her about my life and situations and some of the things I say to her are very private that I haven't told anybody else in my whole life. You know, I mean, that's the patient, doctor, you know, thing. You know, I mean, you know, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, you know, maybe there's a few things that I've shared with a few close friends, you know, um, but... Some things I share with this counselor, I've never told anybody. So, And, you know, hey, everybody has uh, pri very private things in their souls and in their hearts and in their lives that should not be shared with anybody else, okay? We all uh, have our struggles, let's put it that way. And um, so anyways, I was very upbeat and positive. And she said I should look online for the Y-Path um, methods of care. And I've heard of that before, and uh, but I've never really read through all the things. So I'm, that's, that's sort of like a homework assignment. 
And my second therapy appointment is in three weeks on the 8th of October. So I'm going to try to go every thir third week. That way, um, let's see, 3 times 4 is 12. So that's like mm, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12, I guess. Huh? Yeah, so I don't know. 3 times 4, what is that going to so that means I'll be able to see her maybe like five or six times over the next three months between now and the end of December. So I, I didn't I didn't mark it all out on the calendar, but if you add it up every three weeks. And, you know, I only get paid every four or five weeks with uh, my income. So it's like, you know, I kind of may have to stagger. It, may, it might be I may have to skip a week and go like four weeks in between in certain places. But... But anyways, you know, I'm really encouraged, and, um, you know, I think that um, she's very well educated and more than capable of helping me uh, through this um, diagnosis period and whatever. So, um, anyways, I guess that's uh, almost after 11 minutes. Yeah, so I think that's, that's all I can say now uh, about that. But I had a very good appointment, and she actually... I took a taxi there from the bus stop at uh, the Orange Park Mall, and then I found out that she told me there was a shuttle bus that runs hourly that goes from the bus stop almost like within a couple blocks of where her office is, So, and that's for a dollar. So, um, so basically, uh, instead of paying $15 each way for cab fare from the Orange Park Mall um, bus stop. You know, it's going to cost me a dollar each way on this shuttle bus. So that's, you know, two dollars is a lot cheaper than thirty. You know, so that's great. And then she gave me a price break on the uh, the weekly meetings because I'm kind of paying with uh, the way I'm paying. She's getting paid directly, and I don't have insurance, so she was very gracious and gave me a break in the price. So, um, so that was nice of her. So, so anyways, I think things are going to work out pretty good, you know, in this therapy, and um, so I'm looking forward to you know sharing more of my life, and and then you know it might take uh, a month, a couple months before she writes a letter and comes up with a diagnosis and then uh, so and then we'll go from, when I get the diagnosis then we'll go from there and decide what I'm going to do with the future of my life so uh, but okay so that's about it we're over 13 minutes and I got to upload this so uh, a lot of people waiting to hear from me about this so uh Anyways, love you all, and um, remember, beef heart is really good for you, okay? So try it sometime, if you can find it. This is grass-fed beef heart, and it's only $3, $3 for a one-pound frozen package. I mean, you can't beat it. It's delicious, and uh, so I recommend it. Just don't wipe out the frozen food section where I shop. Okay. <laughs> Love everybody. Have some heart, will you?